one man the focus of attention. In fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon, and what we're getting ready... ...ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It is Nice, and they take on Lille. Hi Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. Bamba. On the ball, Rafael Leal. Mary Demiral. Bradovic. Sumare on the ball. Ronaldo Sanchez with it now. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. One of many positive things you can say about the visitors is that they have the most potent attack in the league, Lee, and that is official. Well, Derek, the away fans are quite happy to follow the team because they know they're going to see goals. Top scorers, top creators, top entertainment. Well, he's given a corner, they referee. And firing it into the area. Eric Pulgar. Ball to have taken up an illegal position only just. Araujo. Renato Sanchez. Bradaric. For more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. Physio saw it, went right over on his ankle, but despite his concerns, he's carrying on. So, tough cookie, this guy. An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. But then there's plenty to do from there. He's hitting so well. Lots of pace, lots of power. And the keeper just can't react in time. Great strike. Nice looking pass. Crossing possibilities. And cleared away. And news of a goal on the Monaco match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal from Monaco. 18 minutes played. 1 1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Mary Demi Val. Did well to win the ball back. Dowie and the emphasis is on creativity and he's won the ball well he's lost it and he takes it away Really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And he might be through here. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal in the Monaco match, Alan. It's the second goal for Monaco. 30 minutes played. 2-1. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Mary Demiral. He's given it straight to the opposition. What can he do from here? Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. 
the visitors are struggling with possession, really. But to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Boubacari Soumare. Now, let's see what they can do here. Sanchez. Now they're sitting ever deeper. Bradovic. Bernardo Sanchez. And a poor ball. And space for them here on the flank. It's a good looking ball in behind. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Kasper Dolberg. It is to be a throw in. Going forward well here, after the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And nicely struck, and the keeper takes charge and dealing with the free kick. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. A chance then for the respective managers to... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for, all is said and done. Mudur Renato Sanchez Meat Mudur And news of a goal on the Monaco match Alan McEnany with the details It's a third goal for Monaco It's been scored by Kevin Bolland Across from the right left to keep her flat footed And he came back off the far post Into his path to tap home 48 minutes played Alan McAdally keeping us right up to date. Bernardo Sanchez. Really interesting to follow the chatter as regards. Can he do it? Still a chance. What a vital intervention. Burning the bridge that keeps up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling. Exaggerated, that's what. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Now I must conclude. I am conflicted watching where I step still. Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live. I want to take it. And you don't want to lose possession there. Here I wait the person you are. Possibilities inside the box. Oh, it looks promising. Freak out, I've got to see. And it's gone behind for the corner. Execution time it is here. He's driven in the corner. Now you can see he was feeling the pressure, but gave it a go anyway. Not close though. Well, it was definitely worth the chance. Just got the technique a little bit off. And let's join Alan McAnally because I believe there's been a goal on the Monaco match. Alan? It's the second goal for Trois. 60 minutes played. 3 2. Thanks, Alan. Well, ready to put an end to that attack. Oh, that's an awful finish, and the goalkeeper can do nothing but hang on to it. Easy save for the keeper. Absolutely terrible finishing from the attacker. Well, just look at the stats up there. They really haven't created enough. Not tested the goalkeeper, not tested the defence. Mind you, only takes one little mistake, and they could get back into this game. Soumare. 
and a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. A chance to revisit the goal. So 2-0 now. Eric Burgard on the ball, Cadiz. Budawi. It's with Mokudi. Eder Balanza. More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's Nice versus Montpellier. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. Retaining possession proving difficult. A breaking at pace with Menace. Well, it petered out. And news of a goal on the Monaco match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's another goal for Monaco. 74 minutes, please. 4-2. Cheers again, Alan. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. It did look on for them, but not to be. And attempting the through ball. Is this the moment? On his own, with only the keeper to beat. And still, he's missed it. Well, he had one thought. Power. He should have thought composure. I feel like every breath I have. Mary Demiral. Domagoj Bradaric. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Let us point you in the direction of Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Lille facing Lazio. Well, the super atmosphere of cup football rarely lets you down. Exciting game that will be, I'm sure, Derek. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Wonderful chance. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. So there we have it, 2-1. Bradovic. Ikone. Here's Renato Sanchez. Promising attack this. Well, he's lost the ball. And only two minutes remaining here. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. Well, still time for them to level it. Mendes. A fine reading of the situation. Ricky Puig. And he read it superbly. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down.
The camera's affixed to one man. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. And hello everyone, wherever you happen to be around the world, this is the scene here in the French city of Lille. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It is Lille up against Lazio. Well, Derek, both teams got off to a flying start in their opening group match, didn't they? But something has to give tonight. Looking forward to this one. Position to take it away. Moving into the advanced position. Sanchez. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Played into the centre of the box. Araujo. Icone. On the ball, Mary Demiral. Ricky Puig. Here's Renato Sanchez. The attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. They're really pressing their opponents. So, glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. What a riveting game this promises to be. Well, we're in for a real belter, I think. So much hype leading up to this game. Both teams expected to go deep into this competition. Can't wait for this one. Delivering it into the box. He succeeds in clearing it. Osim Hen. Confident with the ball at his feet. Oh, goodness me, he sent the post. Well, I thought that was the lead right there, but no, so, so close. I must say, this looks promising. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But it can't get all the way through. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Araujo. Renato Sanchez. Ricky Puig. No high quality defending. Felipe. it magnificently and intercepted. Incoming. Osim Hen. Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez with it now. Timely intervention. Wilfried Zaha. Stefan. Bakambu. They had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks he's in just wide. Well, they'll enjoy the bulky possession here. Well, that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front midfield. Very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 57 minutes played. 1-1. Many thanks, Alan. Alert defending. Ricky Puig. Here's Ronato Sanchez. Sanchez. And clears the danger. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Amba. Just 
still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But it can't get through. And space to exploit, maybe. Zaha giving it a try. A chance then for the respective manager. Away then in the second half of this Champions League group stage confrontation. Luis Alberto. Renato Stefan with it. And they find a gap in the defence. Really getting stuck in. And they need to get tighter here. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Bamba. Soumare. Boubacari Soumare. Well, I must say, an awful lot of chatter on the sports radio stations this morning that Inter may be about to get an exciting new addition league. Yeah, the media and the papers, I believe, they've made an official bid. Not surprising, really, he's a top player. There's been rumblings for a while now. I guess we're likely to find out in the next couple of days or so. And a throw in forthcoming. Ricky Puig. Bamba. Sumare on the ball. Excellent challenge. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere, Alan McAnally with the latest. It's the second goal for Porto, 57 minutes, 2-1. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Well, beaten easily here. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. And he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he's been inches away from getting a goal that would make a big difference for his team. Can he go one better in the second half? Firing it towards goal. And able to close down the shots. Constantly towards it. Victor Ozimhen. Still passing it around with authority. Ozimhen. Ikone. Vicky Puig. Bamba. Victor Ozimhen. Is it going to be? And it goes! Well, the pressure has been mounting, and now they have the lead! Well, here we see it again, some lovely quality passes, fluid as you like, and still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort, gave the keeper little chance, lovely goal that was. The opening goal of the game then. Luis Alberto is with Paredes. Going to end up being productive for them. Back on boost. And he clears the danger. More excitement from Liga coming your way on EA TV. It's Lille and they take on Strasbourg. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Jonathan David. Well, sometimes being at the right place at the right time gets you a goal. On this occasion, it's a simple goal from his point of view. So, 2-0 now. A creative look about this. Milinkovic-Savic. 
Sadly, too many things wrong about that effort. Oh, everything was wrong about it. Body shape, positioning, the idea of where he was going to put the ball, it was all going wrong. It's a poor attempt, really, for him. Well, just look at those stats. Lille certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers, and really has been a dominant performance. Boubacari Soumare. Gomez. Jonathan David. On to Gomez. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Kamba. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Tarkovsky. With Luis Alberto. And options in the center. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Ikone. Jonathan David. Oh, in with a chance. That's eyes for goal. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it! Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at his best. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So, the full-time whistle and another...
The man to watch. Is he leaving the club? Well, he starts this game, and we're live on EA TV. And hello, everyone, wherever you happen to be around the world. This is the scene here in the French city of Lille. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And on the menu today is live action from Liga. It is Lille, and they take on Strasbourg. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I always get a buzz from being here. The players will feel the same, I'm sure. Fast start, always a good idea to impose yourself on the game straight from the off. Jonathan David, and the emphasis is on creative. Oh, he's through here! Tremendous defending to stonewall him. Pamba. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Good defending to prevent the chance. Right place to cut out the pass. Well, the fact of the matter is the home side lead the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Yeah, well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late. Bodes well for the neutrals today. Should be an entertaining match, Derek. Takes it on! Well, he's given a corner, they referee. Over it comes. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Tamba. This looks promising out wide. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Borja Mayoral. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. And looking towards the back post. And clears the danger. Ikone. Bad pass. Borja Mayoral. Good looking ball. Can he play it in? Clears it away. Victor Ozimhen. Slip short passing. Ubakari Sumare. Jonathan David. Renato Sanchez. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Ozim Hen. Here's Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez with it now. Well, the defending needed to be a bit more switched on than that. Tom Kearney. Successfully cut out. Oh, he's given it away. The pass could do damage. He's managed to get in behind. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. 
Well, this is worth another look, Derek. Lovely movement, and Giles easily evades the defender. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Cassie. Pebas. And they are on the move again. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Bamba. Ozim Hen. The cross is on. Mopping up defensively. Pebas. Thomason. Lovely ball over the top. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Ozim Hen. Bamba. Victor Ozimhen. Popov. Borja Mayoral. Sizoko. And now Thomason. Febas. Do they mean business on this occasion? Firing it in. Oh, that's a fine save. A corner will ensue. Played into the centre of the box. Well punched away by the keeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Possession one. Renato Sanchez. Well, this is the home of live football, and we have more action from League Anne coming up for you. A real opening now. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. It's no wonder he's celebrating. Well, here's the replay, and the little one too is superb. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Borja Mayoral. Giving the ball away. Bubakari Sumare. David. Renato Sanchez. Bradovic. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Sissoko. Chiku. Araujo. Domagoj Bradovic. More action from Liga coming your way. It's Strasbourg versus Montpellier. Chance here.
about because coming up for you action from Liga it's Monaco and they take on Leo yeah thank you Derek looking forward to today you'll be in for a good game let's hope we see a quick start for both teams set the tempo for the rest of the match a routine save something to worry about here Sanchez. Careless in possession. Well, for Lille, you have to say it was a great performance against Strasbourg. Lee, how do you expect this game to go? Well, Derek, it was easy enough for them in their last game. A 3 0 home win. Could be a different proposition today, though. Can they take the lead? And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. David. Here's Renato Sanchez. Boubacari Soumare. Went in strongly, decisively. Ben Yedder. And he did well to cut it out. So let's have a look at the table and the chances there for the visitors to go top if they can win. Yeah, still early in the seat. And he's broken free. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Meas <sighs> Muldur. Ronato Sanchez with it now. Will he finish? And he's got a score to level it again. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten in his near post. Terrible. Even Steven, what a piece of this match. Renato Sanchez. 
And the bike tackle. Well, and. and with that, the attack fizzles out. Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Position to take it away. Domagoj Bradaric. And on the ball, Ikone. Plenty of options. Ben Yedder. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And a tiny challenge. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. But he read it well. Madrada. Uh, what can they produce on the flank? Ben Yedder, too much on that pass. Ozim Hen. Renato Sanchez. Victor Ozim Hen. The pass can do damage. Can they convert? And a goal! There he is, at the doubles. They just can't subdue him. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball and once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat he hammers it into the back of the net smashing goal well two one it is here really good reading of the game to win possession back and getting the ball forward Martinho it's with Moutinho. The cross from Quadrado. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Jonathan David not giving their opponents a moment's peace. And smart defending. A chance then for the respective managers to... Ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Ikone. Muldur. Well read to ease the pressure. And a free kick awarded by the referee. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going. In the book. And possession given away. Diata. Volant. A oh, tremendous block. Bradaric. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Chances on. Still possibilities. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? Real chance. Couldn't grab hold of it. Oh, he's given the ball away. Space to exploit, maybe. Really vital interception here. Well out. Teammate and support. And will it be the leveler? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Soumare. Ozim Hen. Oh, 
they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Error by the keeper, might give them a chance. Oh, tight offside decision, but the flag does go up. So a personnel change then. Mike Menyon. Renato Sanchez. Jonathan David. Yes, Renato Sanchez. Ozil Hen. Renato Sanchez. Victor Ozil Hen. Sumare. Ozil Hen. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Real chance. A big miss. They should be two in front. Well, that could be the game right there. What an opportunity to go two up. Far from a good pass. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Jonathan David. Is it going to be his third goal of the match? And you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, having scored two, he's going to get the hat-trick at some point, you feel. He's just so full of confidence. Never looked like missing. That's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Bradovic. Angel Gomez. Credit to them for winning back possession. They're getting the ball forward. Holland. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Mary Demiral. Boubacari Soumare. Here's Renato Sanchez. David. Can they get in behind them? Victor Ozimhen. Effective challenge. And it's a case of just five minutes left. And the ball's gone. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Ozim Hen. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And the keeper takes charge and dealing with the free kick. Looks promising this. He's played his over to the near post. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Just needs to stay calm. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle. Once I stop
Okay, welcome everyone. We'll be starting with questions now. That's all we have. Stop breathing. 